Hey, everybody. I have a special guest, Dana Bush, who's decided or she's volunteered to come on the show today and talk about what's going on right now from a psychologist standpoint. She's um, she's a fashion jewelry designer. Is that what you call yourself right now? Ex yes. My new career. Yes. Yeah. She's a jewelry designer. <laughs> And she's been on our celebrity series before. It was a really great talk. It was very, very helpful. Um, but, but yeah, so she's here today to talk about um, the big thing people don't like talking about, but have to because it's kind of in our face. Um, so Dana, what is your, what is your background um, in terms of like what you're helping with today? Or Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, I reached out to Amy uh, because I know that a lot of her viewers uh, tune into her for guidance and for insight. And I think we are in a time right now uh, where everyone is uh, on overdrive and overwhelmed. And uh, before I got into my career doing jewelry, which is one of the ways that I deal with stress and mental health, by the way, uh, is I used to work for a number of years as a clinical psychologist in medical centers. So I have my uh, doctorate degree, uh, in clinical psychology, my specialty was health. I also have a master's in public health. Uh, I'm still licensed, uh, but not actively practicing. But I, I spent my career working in medical centers, and a lot of my work was really focused on the, the stress and environmental factors that people are having to deal with on top of having a chronic disease. So my last two positions were specifically in cancer centers, uh, I was working in um, a medical center during 9-11, so you can imagine people in there already stressed about their health, and then, you know, what's going on in the country. I was also very proximal to D.C., so we were close to where some of the action was going on. And um, I think that uh, one of the disadvantages of us being so connected online is that it's very easy to get amped up and ramped up and stressed out and worried and those are all normal things for us to be going through and yet at the same time uh, what I'm hoping to do today is get everyone to look at how you cannot how you can step back from that a bit and you know recognize that uh, as much as it's important to be informed and be smart uh, we don't want to get to a stage of being emotionally taxed um, overly stressed because that leads to usually poor decision making it leads to um, all kinds of um, physiological changes so you know one of the huge dangers with stress is stress automatically increases your blood pressure it increases your heart rate your skin temperature it changes the consistency of your blood all those things that then weaken your immune system <laughs> that are going to make you more susceptible to developing a condition, for example, you know, the COVID-19. Uh, and, you know, oftentimes when we're stressed, what do we do? We don't make the best choices. We, you know, we eat junky food, we smoke a cigarette. And so what, what I'm trying to hopefully do today too is to certainly acknowledge for people that um, this is a stressful time. It is a time to be mindful and yet, um, how how do you find a way to to disconnect from that? How do you find other resources and methods of um, calming your system down, managing your stress, re realizing when you need to take a break from watching too much news or you know having a conversation with someone you know who's always hysterical about everything uh, because <laughs> it's not this is not the time for that. And then on top of that, uh, I think. One of the things that's important for us to learn too, which helps with this resilience when we feel like we don't have a lot of options and we're really worried, is how do we shift into um, a state of opportunity? So I, Amy and I were talking earlier and uh, I think especially you have a small business. She has a small business, I have one. And so how do I then maybe say, well, I haven't been putting time into getting stuff loaded into my website. Now I have time to do it. Uh, there's a training that I know when, um, you know, things get back up and running because I'm confident that they will, that this mm -hmm. is the time you can, you know, you can take advantage of that. And um, because I think when we 
start to take steps that make us feel like we're moving forward or we start to do things that um, bring us pleasure or relaxation, uh, it helps to shift us and, and not feel so overburdened. Um, so that's kind of me like blabbing in a nutshell here and <laughs> should probably let Amy chime in for a minute and <laughs> see what else she has to say. And also I did tell her that I'm going to be forwarding her some links to um, a lot of great organizations, um, health and mental health organizations, uh, also ones that really uh, tap into a lot of knowledge that we know about working with the fact that we're very neuroplastic as individuals. So tapping techniques, um, stress management, meditation, uh, lots of things that we can do uh, that you don't need to go to someone's office for. So, yes. Yeah, and I'll, I'll be putting those links below for you guys. So just check it out underneath this video. Um, and yeah, I mean, because I, I do an, an exercise or I recommend an exercise called Thank You God for My Misery, where you say, thank you God for the bad thing. And then you list 10 to 15 advantages or benefits. This is yeah. a perfect example of a way to use that because you got to turn things around to the positive like that. You got to see it gets you like unstuck if you're paralyzed in fear. It gives you something to yes. do that's productive, that's yes. effective, that takes you out of this, this different headlights energy and gets you going towards something. And um, so, I, I mean, I get people calling, of course, <laughs> every, you know, like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out because they think this is going to happen and that's going to happen and the other things yes. happen and everything. And they're asking me to tune in and feel into that and reassure them and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so... I mean, how, what would you recommend to people who are, are in that kind of an energy, talking to people about that kind of stuff all the time and bouncing sure. off of each other and it, like the fear is just mounting and mounting and mounting? From your opinion, uh, what would you recommend to, to the audience? Yeah, I think there's, you know, a couple of things. Um, I mean, you know, one, two is I think that uh, being – mindful I think you know one of it you know one thing that is just becoming more aware of ourselves so I'm sure we all can recognize there are certain situations or people that just amp us up anyways that you know have a certain <laughs> viewpoint so I would encourage a little social distancing there yes <laughs> So, Even on the phone, um, a little social distance. It, ex exactly. And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, and I, I think too, again, um, it's important to be informed and yet, to, you know, to, like just sitting and listening to, you know, catastrophe and hysteria on the TV is, is not, is not good. And, you know, uh, and oftentimes it's not accurate. Uh, it's I think, so true. Yes. So I think, true. I think too that we're wired as human beings to really constantly be processing in our head. It's very hard for us to get out of being in our head. And, and most of the time when we're in our head, we're either thinking about the past or we're thinking about the future. And, you know, and usually if we're thinking about the past or future, oftentimes, especially being faced in the situation we're in, it's usually like, upset and worry and it's not um and what it does is it takes us out of being in the present and the present is is the most powerful place that we'll ever be because it's it's yes. the only place where we can take action it's the only place where we can um make different choices and and we always and we always have that so something that i always have recommended to people uh, because when I worked as a psychologist, my orientation was very be here now. And it was very about Eastern philosophy and, um, and really empowering yourself through the choices you're making. So right now it's looking at choices we're making. What are smart choices around protecting my emotional health, my physical health? You know, who and what do I need to distance myself from because it's not going to be productive for me right now? Um, and a lot of times too, you know, traditional meditation and sitting and being in the moment isn't always easy for people. So one of the things that I say is I personally consider activities that when you're doing them, all of a sudden your mind is right there. It's not what you were doing before or what you're going to do. So like I said earlier, for me, creating my jewelry, 
is is a very like in the moment healing thing. I am I'm engaged in the process of engaged what I'm doing. Uh, working out is the same for me as well. Uh, mm-hmm. For the people, mm-hmm. it may be gardening, it may be reading. Uh, you know, it's it's finding those things because right now what we also need to do is we need to find something that disengages us from this stress because what that will also do yeah. is it's also going to help to regulate your physiology. And mm-hmm. uh, another powerful thing for people is music, you know, turn off the TV and put on music that you love um, that, you know, that uplifts you or excites you or calms you down. I mean, yeah. music is a very, it's a very powerful medium. Um, so it's tapping into some of those kinds of things. And, you know, and there are, I'm going to, I'll send a few links to Amy, you know, there are a lot of uh, different, I will call them like meditative videos or sound videos that also look at different Hertz resonances. And I'll mm. try loosely to explain what a Hertz resonance is. So it's not necessarily something that you will be able to distinguish by the ear, but there are different um, frequencies that sound can come in. And there are people that have studied these. They're called the Sofeggio scales. And there's a belief that different Sofeggio scales can have different types of healing purposes. So you can even Google Sofeggio scales and you'll oh, find one. Oh, go ahead. Just, yeah, we, just, we actually just had a, um, in our celebrity oh. years, we had Ted yeah. Winslow do a talk all about this. Oh, perfect. So yeah, if you guys want to learn more about that and the science, science behind it and all that kind of stuff, definitely watch Ted's talk. Oh, that's perfect because that's something that, you know, right now, would be a really great thing, uh, a great thing to do. Um, and that's something too, you know, if you're, uh, you're home and, you know, especially, I mean, I, I don't have small children, but I know that there are a lot of people who have kids at home now and that's adding to stress because the kid, you know, like, what am I doing? I mean, things like this, finding things that, you know, calm everyone down and calm the system down, uh, are all, you know, are all really important things. And, and then I agree too. the, uh, similar to, uh, what did you just call it, Amy? The, the, the list writing thing, your title for it. Oh, thank you God for my misery. There, there we go. Thank you. It's, you know, <laughs> or like the, you know, the, the, you know, the gratitude journal. Um, and mm. I, I think also starting to say, okay, right now I have this time on my hands and to look at it as an opportunity instead of a crisis and say, how do I want to leverage this time to then be able to launch myself? So like I said, for me, I've just started trying to get my stuff into um, a new website. I've got a great person. So I've got some homework I need to do to, to get that in place. You know, is there an online training that, you know, would help you to like launch yourself into a next level of what your work is? Um, Mm -hmm. And I think, I think another thing that, that helps right now, too, uh, is being in service to other people. So how do we, I think, especially support each other as small businesses, as individuals, you know, mm-hmm. if you have that capacity in your life right now to, um, to, you know, help someone or continue with some kind of service or something like that, it's... Uh, that's also something that really helps get, you know, good hormones and, you know, good feelings for your body, which again, creates resiliency in your immune system. So those are a few things I can think of. Yeah. Well, it's really important that you keep in mind also that everything is energy. Yes. What you put your attention on, you're growing and making become more of that. Exactly. Oh, so you are essentially creating a disastrous future by thinking those fearful thoughts and you're making it come about. So yes. you have to catch yourself with that self-awareness she was talking about and direct your thoughts in this direction and start affirming again, I am so completely loved and supported in all ways and always. Um, I, um, some angels were telling me earlier, like you have to be in, a, in an ecstatic state of joy, anticipating an incredible future and incredible mm-hmm. transformational changes right now that are going to be incredible changes that are going to really um, catapult us to success in the future. Like it's really going to change things very much for the better. And keep in mind too, that you have timelines. 
So your high, your vibration is going to align. If you watch my live yesterday, it was really incredible. Some of the cards and some of the things that the angels were saying through those. Okay. Cards. Because one of them talked about a portal will open for you according to your faith and, and high vibration. And I, and I wasn't those words, but it was along those lines. And I was reminded again of a day of a dream that I had had where yes. I had walked, there was a gathering of people and it was kind of a, um, a time like this, you know, where people were, were kind of coming together. They were uniting, which I believe this is going to yes. do. But I was in the kitchen and somebody asked me, could you grab extra such and such in the pantry? And I did. I walked in to grab it and I, I went to reach for the can and I disappeared. And it was like the Chronicles of Narnia. Wow. All of a sudden, I was in this new earth and looking around, and it was just beautiful green pastures everywhere. And I was gone from that other world. And I'm getting chills as I'm saying it. So there, you know, the other, the other side is really watching closely to see how we react and what we're doing. What kind of vibration are we committed to having? Do we have the faith that it takes? Or, or are you going to go down that timeline where things turn out pretty disastrous? Or are you going to believe in this timeline and, and create that future for us? And I do think that there, sure. this is that you can choose which train track you're going to be on and what your destination is going to be accordingly. Yes. So and I, I think that's too. That's what you put your attention on because you're manifesting it. Yeah. Yes. And I think, you know, people need to really tap into how powerful they are. And it's, you know, situations like this that kind of test that. And I think that, um, you know, a lot of what we get from media too, is that you're helpless. You, you know, you can't do this or you need us for that. And um, so I think this is, a, is that time to, you know, tap into that. And, and it also helps to build that resiliency uh, and like you said, move yourself to that next level and that next mindset and to, uh, to have a lot of discernment right now. There's a lot of opportunity for discernment and um, kind of sitting back uh, because the universe has kind of given us this big, like the world is in, in so many words, a big time out. And uh, there isn't really anyone that's able to escape from this. And I think there's a reason for that. There's it's incredible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's I mean, a, and I, yeah, it doesn't matter if you have nothing or you have everything or you we're all on the same page or you live <laughs> on a little island somewhere. It's um, exactly yeah, and so a lot of this, I think, is that you know we've needed kind of this shake up and this period of sitting back and and having awareness and being present because we're not being present is challenging anyways, but. Um, I think there's also a lot of discomfort for people around yeah. that too. And this is a powerful time to really be able to be with yourself and experience what you need to be experiencing and bringing in what you need to be bringing in. So absolutely. Yeah, I, I was going to say um, from time to time, as I'm walking around my place here, I'll just like jump up and down. And I'll be like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually excited about what's going on, but I'm trying yeah. to get vibration yes. of excitement and, instead of fear. Sure. And, and it's like the other side of the coin to fear is excitement. If you actually take that word of fear, I am afraid of this, and you yes. mix it with the word excited, I'm excited about this. Yes. You could switch that energy over and realize that a lot of times it, it's a very similar emotion if you can just switch it over. You know? Yes. I'm very excited about this. Like, wow, what this is like, whoa, <laughs> there's a lot of energy here. Um, so you well, can, that's, that's whatever yeah. you're feeling around just yeah. by choosing to. Yes. And that's, you know, that's the lens you're viewing the world through. It's the, it's the lens you're interfacing with people and situations with. And, uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's powerful. And so the more you can, put yourself in that place. And like I said, it's not to diminish that people are stressed and it's not to say that, you know, that isn't a piece of this too. And yet um, we need to be able to broaden our lens. You know, oftentimes mm -hmm. we're not very good about broadening our lens and we tend to be either an either or kind of viewpoint. And it's, you know, I think quite naturally it's more a human tendency to focus on the things that aren't going well, that we're not happy about, 
uh, and just kind of yeah. be forgetful about the things that are good or things that we're excited about. And so being able to broaden that lens and see this other whole world that's existing and be able to tap into that. And I think too, the more we tap into that, the more we reset the energy of other people. Um, yes. You know, and, yes. you know, because if, you know, you can come across that way, I mean, I've tried to do this because I have plenty of people I know that are on the edge, understandably so. And yet I know it's not going to help them. And I know it's not going to help society. So uh, the more you can be of that other presence, uh, the more that that grows. And then, mm -hmm. you know, being mindful of people in situations, you just need to have a little bit of a break from, which mm -hmm. is, which yeah. is good and fine too. So yeah, that's one good thing about being alone, I guess. <laughs> I don't have anybody negative going, rah, 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 rah. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. <laughs> but exactly. I think this is a this is a really great opportunity to show our humanity too, because yes. like um, the Italians out on uh, you know who are singing to each other. Oh out, yeah, exactly. And the there's some exercise guy who's who's like doing exercises with people on their rooftops. Yes. And, like, le like, I just went to take out the trash, and there was this lady walking her dog, and I just was like, hi, puppy, what are you doing today? You know, like, are you having fun? Yeah. That kind of stuff, if we can just kind of, like, just really make this a cheerful, happy time, you can shift somebody else's energy. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. And that's... We can all lift each other up. And that's, a you know, a big piece of this, too, because I think there's a lot of added crisis and a lot that you know that we're all piling on that has nothing to do with the coronavirus it's it's our added reaction um that is then also you know making people just um you know more uh anxious and worried and um which it doesn't help anything so well I you know to have that balance what so. i've been finding too is just kind of sweet this is really neat but I've had some people reach out to me, you know, and share their concerns and whatnot. And then I'll be like, do you have enough food? Yeah. Oh, I have enough food. Do you? Yeah. How about cash? Do you have some cash? Do, have you yeah. put some gold? Like, you know, yeah. like we're asking those questions of each other. Yeah. It's like, exactly. you, have food, you can come by and get some anytime. I'll leave it outside for you on the door. Yes. Yeah. Whatever. And it's just like this really like taking care of each other and being there for each other. And like every exactly. Day that I talked to was just like, Amy, if you need anything, just let me know. And it just really warmed my heart. It was like, we're family, you know, we're here for each other, whatever we can do. Exactly. Exactly. And really that's bringing and people that's, together. Absolutely. And another, you know, kind of, I think, creative thing that I know some people who have small businesses have done is they've said, okay, you know, maybe you've got like a new program you're wanting to launch and there's someone that you'd love to partner with. Reach mm -hmm. out. Hey, I'd love to with your audience do like you yeah. know this, you know this program. Let them try it out. Or you know, there's there's a lot of I think kind of bartering of services or ways mm -hmm. that we can all grow that you know have value and down the road will you know lead to connections and opportunities. And so you know, there's a lot of wonderful exchange. Like we've yeah, talked about that has nothing to do with just pure dollar you know changing of dollars yeah hands so um i know that Jor jordan sather just talked on one of his talk on his talk yesterday actually that he was coming up with a database like that to be for people to be able to barter back and forth i i, yeah. I just said that in one of my messages from spirit like somebody's got to come up with some kind of database where yeah. trade services on this website and stuff and he's exactly. not um but I think there's going to be more than, you know, I think there's going to be a few of these things that come out and you know, people are just really putting their heads together right now. Like, sure. Okay. So this is what's happening and this is how people are responding. And here's how we need to, you know, they're, they're doing some course corrections and making some major decisions right now to help yes. um, change things help yes. for the better for us in the future. I completely agree. I completely so, um, as far as what, what I'm doing or anything, um, I'm doing meditating, listening to positive things. I listen to Jordan Sather. I think he's great. Mm -hmm. Any, anything that makes me feel uplifted, empowered, um, yes. even, or, you know, I do know that this is an ideal time for true love to come together too, because <laughs> you're stuck with yeah. somebody that you're kind of miserable being with. That's not <laughs> for you. 
<laughs> it kind of becomes more blurringly obvious that that's not the person for you. Yeah. And but I think, uh, yeah, there'll be I a lot of divorces coming up, but those divorces will cause true love to come together. So sure, what's, sure. that's what's really going to be huge at this time. There's, we're going to see a lot of divorces, or we're going to see a lot of marriages too coming up real soon here. Sure. Well, and I think just it's that I think one of the things that tends to come out during a period of crisis are really people's true colors. Yes. Things that you weren't willing to see or didn't want to see or, and I don't know. And it's with romantic relationships, with friendships, with work situations you're in. And so it's, it is, it's a period of discernment and, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, how you want to be in the world and who you want to spend your time with and, uh, mm, so and true. You know, holding your own value. Well, and also, I mean, for, for some people who are total workaholics, this is so perfect for them to sit home with their families and to like yeah. back to really like, what's, what's it really, what's it really all about? What are we here for? You know, sure. really believe in what do I, what do I yeah. want? To, how do I want my life to be? <laughs> Just how do I want my life to be when things stabilize, which I do feel it's, it's not going to be as long as we think it is. And I definitely don't see it going downhill like so many people are so afraid of. Yes. If we're going to exactly. recover within a matter of weeks. I think that we're going to start building again. And this has just been, it's given us some wisdom. It's just given us some wisdom and some reminders of what this is all really about and about coming together too. So yeah, it's just like divine intervention making us come together. Yes, I agree. And you know, kind of on a on another flip side, because I, I heard someone mentioning this too. And like you said, you you live alone. I'm an only child. I've lived alone forever. Um, so spending time with myself, I have no problem with. But I think this is this is one of these things too that this is an opportunity to also learn how to be with yourself. Because how many people make poor choices because they have a difficult time being with themselves, doing stuff by themselves. And so I think this is that this can be a, you know, potential growth period for that as yes. well. Yes. So, you know, um, and re- learning to rely on your intuition is big right now too about all of this. Yeah. Um, I th- I was talking about this in my live yesterday. I cried the other night, and when I was crying, it's like all of these all of these angels and beings started like contributing all this information and started telling me things like, "Hey, don't worry, this is unwarranted fear." Like this is like they were starting to tell me all these things, and I just I snapped right out of it. I was like, "Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah," you know. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and you can ask you know, you can ask the other side, your spirit guides and everybody. Like, is it okay for me to go to the grocery store right now? Is it okay for me to do this? Is it okay for me to do that? No, mm-hmm. no. And you can learn. This is a great time to hone your skills and abilities and be able to rely on yes. them heavily. Yeah, like, you can just ask those hard questions and be like, "Angels, am I gonna die? <laughs> am I gonna this? Am I, is my future totally in the dumps? Is is our economy totally crashing?" And you are truly quiet inside and you yeah, don't let yeah. those thoughts get away with you or anything. And you just keep coming back to that presence within, then you're going to see and hear things much more clearly when it comes to like the real answers. Yes. Those other things you may say that you feel it intuitively. That's not intuition. That's fear. That's the little devil on your shoulder. Sometimes you're believing it because you want to believe it because you're yes. just scared out of your mind, but sure. Really to get the clear answers just as with, like even if you're in a, a dispute with people or something, you can really see most logically and you can see more clearly if you're totally centered, present in the moment, and you're caught up and triggered about whatever's going on. Yeah. The more we can get heart centered and the more we can just be super present. Um, so even in that moment when I, when I was crying, I was open, I was wide open, you know, and that's why they all started coming through like blaringly. Sure. Like, know this about it, know that about it. Probably what you don't realize is this. And, you know, all of these messages start coming through. I was a little like, whoa, mm-hmm. I, get, I got hit really hard with this incredible love. Sure. So it's like, don't you, don't you forget for, don't you even think for a moment you're alone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It, exactly. It was really beautiful. But if, if I wouldn't, if my mind would have been too caught up in the stuff at that mm-hmm. point, I wouldn't have heard them. Yes. I've been able to get through like that, or I wouldn't have believed them or whatever, you know what I mean? Sure. 
Absolutely. And I, I think, um, again, sometimes. Oh, you were talking about, you, you were talking about moderation before too. Yes. Like, let's talk about like going to extremes because some people have gone way like, yes, like a year's worth of stuff because they're, I don't know what they're thinking, but. I know it's this whole irrationality. And I think a lot of that um, is, is, you know, whipped up, driven by hysteria with the, with the media. And again, this is, this is a serious thing. And yet, so one of the things as a, as a psychologist uh, and also working how I did with people, I, I very much believe in the power of our language. In fact, oh, yeah. um, there are um, psychologists out there who have really looked at the power of our language in that uh, besides lemmings, which is a particular type of bird, human beings are the only ones that actually take their own lives. And they've really kind of looked at the power because we have a complex language system that we get ourselves so whipped up um, that, you know, we take drastic measures. And I think too, that even if you're not over in the extreme, you start getting, you know, you go to the grocery store and then all of a sudden, like, well, everyone else is buying 10 rolls of toilet paper. I've got to, or I was, Mm -hmm. I was listening to, um, or I should say, I was reading a story about, um, a gentleman who I, I follow his stuff, and he's also very much into conspiracy theory. I'll, I'll preface that. It's called Piercing the Veil, and he's out in California, and he and his wife were at a Whole Foods, and this woman was in the meat department, and she bought the last 30 pounds of hamburger and then proceeded to say that she was a vegetarian but felt she needed this 30 pounds of hamburger. I mean, it's, there's, wow. there's this level of irrationality, and I think – a lot of that, this is one of the negative things of our being so, you know, connected and, and listening to whatever someone's feeding us and not stepping back and being able to have our own, you know, you know, confidence and groundedness within ourselves and our own discernment. I think for us as a country too, you know, one of the things is that as much as the fact that we have our own our own problems and people that are in desperate need in the big scheme. We're a very fortunate country. You know, very few people living today have gone through war periods, our industrial revolution, and we have a lot of excess and, and we are in more of a superficial hierarchy of needs where people are used to having what they want and when they want it and focus more on, I think a lot of times a a material existence than a deeper existence and it also drives some of this hysteria. And again, I think when Mm -hmm. you feel like you don't have control and you, and the fact that this is impacting the whole world, uh, it, it's, it's very, you know, easy to get in kind of this crazy mindset. And so again, a couple of things are who and what do you need to, distance yourself from a bit, you know, how do you recognize not just within other people, but within your own self when you're getting a bit beyond what's really rational and, you know, and then what are things that you can do then that shift you out of that? What's an enjoyable activity, a meditative activity, something that um, you can tangibly do where, you're seeing yourself making progress. So, okay, for me, I've just now loaded the stuff into my website. I'm making progress. I, you know, I have something that I can tangibly, you know, measure. Um, but, you know, we, you know, oh, go in ahead. Canada, in Canada, um, they've got, it's, it's so cool. Their healthcare is like all paid for anyway. You may have to wait for hours, but it's so cool. But their, their government's like so chill. They're just, hey, there's this virus. Everybody just stay home. You know, and if they just made it like no big deal, <laughs> they 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 don't feel like you know victimized or anything by staying home, and they don't they limit the food that people are able to buy. Mm-hmm. I think they should be doing that everywhere here. I don't know I don't know why that's not happening. Like in some, I did see like Sam's Club has done that. I think, yes. that's, but seriously, they 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 need to like say you get one thing of toilet paper. You sure. get one thing of toilet paper. So everybody's. Everybody's got a chance at some, you know, not one person has 30, ro- 30 rolls and the other person has nothing. They have to yeah. 
facial wipes. Yeah, and tell me how, <laughs> or something. Tell me how toilet paper has anything to do with COVID nineteen. Anyway, I'm like. I don't, I don't. So I'm like, um, but you know, and again, I think it's 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 a good reminder um, that as an, as individuals, as a society, and as a world, we need to get back to being more in the middle gray zone. Um, you know, we can trace back and look over the last handful of years, even just within our own country. And we can see more and more examples of extreme division in all kinds of areas. And so it's now manifesting here because I think, you know, we've gotten more into this is my camp and this is your camp and, and this is where I'm at. And, you know, and, and also from just like a biological wiring survival mode, you know, we're designed to make assessments all day long. It's how we sift out information. It's how we make decisions so you can't look at anything and not have a an assessment slash judgment about it you know and yet at the end of the day it's you know how do we just you know in a situation like this be more grounded not get hysterical you know not fall into someone else's hysteria and you know and stay as rational and and mm -hmm. you know um because that's you know, that's really where we're going to function best from. And at the end of the day, yes, there's these awful things going on, but there's so many wonderful things and great opportunities that you need to broaden your lens mm -hmm. and, and so that you can bring all of that in, which will help to, you know, lessen the insanity, but also help you see that, wow, you know, I have choices. I can focus on this over here or I can like look at what the other opportunities are or what else is, you know, on my plate to, you know, to choose from. So I, one of the things that the angels are saying too, is they're, they're like, you have a choice. Like in one of my videos on Instagram, I don't know if you saw, but there was like a fairy and then yes. this blast, this flash. Yes. Like, and it was like, it was when I was saying you guys have the freedom to choose. You yes. Is which future you're going to go on. Are you going to go on this track or that track? You know? Exactly. Exactly. So we do have freedom. You know, it's, it's, it's our minds thinking that we don't have freedom. That's the only stuck place there is. And I think some of it too, kind of going back to that, and this is much of our society is that we want change to happen quickly and significantly. And, you know, and, and part of it too is, is, is change is a process and we have to be willing to stick with that. So, you know, and some of us have, you know, because of our circumstances, you know, have, you know, broader opportunities than others. And yet at the end of the day, everyone can change their outcome and change their life, no matter how limited it is. It's, it's the, um, what it comes down to is what's your, what's your resilience and what's your determination to move in a different direction and how every day you keep taking those steps and over time you know you get you know get more to where you want to be and ultimately that's a more successful way to get there anyways and it's and that goes back to okay what do I need to tap into in myself where what am I not like looking at that is you know shifting me to this oh it's never going to happen for me or oh my life is this um you know a lot of it is having some, you know, looking inside a bit and choosing I, thoughts, choose, choosing thoughts that support you. Yeah. And, you know, and then making, you know, making those, you know, different choices, you know, it's like, you know, if there's certain things you want or you want your life to be in a different way, well, you know, if you keep, you know, taking the same actions, guess what? You're going to be in the, you're going to be in the same place or keep having the same thought. Yes. It's not like it's just going to, you have to be a co-participant in your life. And, um, and the more you're an active co-participant in where you're at and where you want to go, uh, the, you know, the more you know, powerful you become and the more success you have in that direction. So, and, and again, you turn on TV and someone's always telling you why you're helpless, why it's not your fault, um, you know, why it's never going to be right for you. And oftentimes it's tied to something you can't change about yourself. And again, it's the opportunity. I mean, I'd rather create an empowered society than, you know, a dependent society. And, 
Uh, so, you know, how do we do that and how do we surround ourselves with people that have that empowered mindset and help to encourage and support us in that direction? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a process. So, you know, we all want it to be like some of the infomercials, the, you know, five minute ad where I do this, 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 and I got a six pack. <laughs> I don't have to change my diet. I have to do anything else. I mean, I, you know, I want to buy in, buy into that fantasy. So, but, uh, you know, we're, we're here on a, on a journey and, um, you know, and it, and also the thing too is, is where we gain the most insight and wisdom and make the most change is when we're in dire circumstances. Uh, Cause when yeah. life, when life is good, life is good, right? It's like, Hey, life is good. You know, we're, we're more in our groove and there's nothing I need to focus on. Was it? Yeah. Saying? I just, I just randomly pulled this card. Yeah. Archangel Jophiel. Uh -huh. Dean, future joy. There we go. I will light a way forward for you. Re remain positive. There we go. There we oh go. My gosh. There we go. Oh my gosh. And then I got Archangel Chamuel, Red Rose of Love. I surround you with love and send you a blessing for your relationship. <laughs> there we go. That's awesome. That's fantastic. So, um, so how about I do, um, how about I do, a little singing bowl. Yes. A perfect. blessing. Perfect. And I'd then if you, if you have some closing thoughts, then we'll do that after the blessing. Okay. That sounds good. Um, perfect. So everybody watching, I want you to just relax, take a deep breath. <sighs> the language I'm about to speak is called light language. And it's a language of the soul. It's an old ancient language. It has energy in it, which transforms, soothes, does anything that you intend for it to do that is good within free will. And so it's very, very transformative, helpful energy. Um, it's, it's kind of like doing Reiki, but it's through language. It's through um, this light language. So just relax and set your intention. Um, and here we go. Hai la kiri ina se se la hi umoko e chikit san se hai la na te sa se na hai la kiri ina bo a chikit sin se la hale momo wa ke hai la se se ke sho momo ke in sa la kiri ita na te la hale se 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 no momo ke kitare ima pa ke Hello, this is Shuku Mumokit Satsena to Telak Eton. All right, so I just got a message that I need to do something for you guys too. They said that um, what happens sometimes is you can get lower astral entities from, from being out of balance, and like a trauma can cause like a rip or a tear in your aura, and lower astral entities can get in there. Um, so, as we were talking about the frequencies, uh, Ted Winslow has a free album called the like angel album at tedwinslow.com. If you listen to that, um, his music actually repairs those types of holes and tears and rips and things. Um, but they also want me to remove, um, all of these lower astral entities from anybody who's watching right now and then seal the hole over for you. And then um, you guys just need to reinforce it from there. And what, what happens when we get a lower astral entity? is we may be a little bit insecure, but then this lower astral entity that also kind of represents or symbolizes that type of a fear or insecurity recognizes sure. the same energy in you and it jumps in your body, takes over, and it's like a thousand times worse. So that's been happening for a lot of you due to this trauma. So um, they've asked me to remove these entities from you, seal you up, and then it's your responsibility now to go forward and watch your vibe very closely. Watch what you put your attention tension on and choose the path you want to go down. Hello, <sighs> <sighs> 
เอลิกิดีอันนาบะโกชันเซเอลิกิดีตีนาตาเซนากะไอชัมบูปะเกอลิปิวเพพพมาเยอะไอซันเซลากิอีนาโฮมะเกเชซินเอลิกิดีนา
have some distancing from those people that uh, are not in that mindset. That would be a very healthy thing to distance from as well. So yes, I yes. completely. <laughs> Thank you so much and have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this. And I guess we'll talk to you next time. Next Good. time these ideas come to mind. <laughs> Perfect. That's fantastic. Thanks so much, Amy. I appreciate it. And yeah. everyone be well. All righty. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey, if you like my videos, please share, subscribe, and set your bell notifications on so you'll know the moment they come out. Also, don't forget that you can go to my website and order a personal reading at amysatori.com forward slash services. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.